guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Titan and today we'll be doing a what's in my bag tag. I'm sorry if my hair looks weird today. I just couldn't be bothered to curl my hair. I tried a really cute messy bun thing. For some reason my fringe started looking like sideburns. I look like a Jewish man with like, you know, the curly sideburns. But then now I look like a female warrior from ancient China. So without much further ado, I'm going to show you my bag for today. This is the bag that I'm currently using. I know what you're thinking. No, this is not a Birkin bag. This is not from Hermes. It is from the brand Teddy Blake. Teddy Blake reached out to me a few weeks ago. So I was very excited to share with you guys. This bag is called the Katie bag. I don't remember the exact size of it, but I'll put it right here. It's 100% leather, made in Italy, and it's the same quality as any other designer bag out there. It doesn't charge four times the amount of another high-end designer brand would because sometimes when you buy brand name bags, you're kind of buying the brand. If you guys are interested in purchasing, I have a discount code for $20 off. I do not get commission off of it. It's just a promo code just to help you guys out. Okay, so for all you capable people out there, let's get into the bag. The very first thing I'll show you is my novel. I was just on the plane yesterday from Jakarta to Singapore. I like to bring a book with me when you're waiting for takeoff or waiting for a landing, when you can't play with your phone, you can just start reading. It's pretty much like watching a movie, but playing it in your head. And here I have my Wonder Woman pouch from Walgreens. These are my temporary business cards because I have a networking event to go to tomorrow at MediaCorp. So I wanted to quickly print some cards. My friend Hana helped me make the design, so if you guys are interested, you guys can contact her. Here I have my temporary SIM or my driver's license because I got my bag stolen in New York. So I basically don't have any ID and I'm slowly starting to gather all my ID again by going to government offices. Next up in my pouch, I have this Urban Decay Mattifying Powder. This is self-explanatory. It's just something for me to touch up my oily face throughout the day instead of bringing like translucent powder around. And then in the pouch, I also have my temporary KTP or my Indonesian ID. I have a bunch of pas photo. This is the Maison Margila Jazz Club scent. This is running out and I'm freaking out. I didn't want to commit so I got a really small version version of it. I think this is my favorite scent in the whole world. It smells like a jazz club or what I like to think smells like a bar. My friends and I, we really like to go to speakeasy bars. Usually those bars smell like whiskey and tobacco combined and that sounds absolutely disgusting, I know. Tobacco in candles and in perfume smells really really good even though I don't like the smell of cigarette smoke itself. When you mix it with musky scents, it makes it have a really masculine quality to it and it makes it last really long. Just catch a whiff of this and you'll totally understand what I mean. In my pouch, I also have two lip glosses. A girl's gotta have options. I have the Bare Minerals in the color Must Have. This is my number one favorite gloss because it's pinky, it's pigmented, it's really glossy, but it's not sticky. It's basically your perfect gloss. I also have the ABH lip gloss in Kristen. Oh my gosh, I just realized this isn't Kristen. I've been telling everyone that my lip gloss shade is desert sand. It's described as a desert sand. It's like a pink, more on the nude side. So just think of a liquid lipstick pigmentation, but glossy. I prefer bringing lip glosses around in my bag because lip glosses retouch better. It doesn't stack on top of your lips like liquid lipsticks do. I of course need my clean and clear oil control paper. I'm an oily gal, so I need to bring this everywhere I go. I have two, what, is this? what are these even called? This is for my Singapore bank and this is my BCA, my Indo bank. And the reason why I bring this around is because I tend to transfer people money and I tend to get transferred a lot so I need to always have access it's all about the money and I also have a USB in here in case I need to get a file from someone or get a photo from a photographer after a photo shoot you never expect that you'd ever need a USB in your bag here I have my Tiff Body Coconut Lip Sleeping Balm it has no fragrance, no color and it just basically feels like you're bringing around solid coconut oil and I have a pink pen in here I always need a pen when I'm traveling to fill an immigration form to sign them contracts in pink, yes, extra I feel like I just did a what's in my makeup pouch bag that's how many things I have in here. That's just in my pouch. 
let's get on to the bag. I have more in here. I'm gonna stop talking like this because it's annoying. I have a receipt from Charles and Keith. Then I have a power bank. This is from the brand Xiaomi. I love this. It can charge my phone fully maybe about two times. It's super sleek, super thin, and it looks like it comes from Apple, which I really enjoy. Always need to bring an iPhone cable everywhere in case I want to steal electricity at cafes. You know, also have my passport. I wish I had a dual passport, but I don't. I only have the Indonesian passport and the Singapore PR. Instead of a wallet, I bring around a card holder. I don't really care for big, chunky, heavy wallet. These days, you can pay with everything with your debit card anyway. These are my Bose earphones. This was a gift from Gaius, I believe. Super good quality. And if you like listening to music while you're walking, it just makes the commute so much more enjoyable and less boring. And when you're listening to music while you're like strutting the streets of a city, you just feel like you're in a movie. You feel like the theme song is in the background and you just feel so cool. And this is <laughs> my essential! Woohoo! Okay, this is Talak Angin. If you're not Indonesian, this is basically an herbal medicine. This makes your innards very warm. You know when you're just burping and the burp doesn't stink? It's just air and wind. I drank two packets of this before I hiked up Mount Bromo and Mount Bromo is super windy, right? We were really afraid of getting sick. So this was a lifesaver for hiking up. Woo! Now the bag feels so light. I also have a bunch of coins. These are the reason why my bags are always so heavy. I really wish governments would just eradicate coins and just go with bank notes. I'm the type of person that that's kind of environmentally conscious. So if we go to a restaurant and they give us a bunch of tissues, I stuff them in my bag. They always come in handy. I have a Listerine Cool Mint. These mints and I have a really long history. My mom and I really like them because they're just little pieces of paper. Oh. And you eat it minty fresh. What else do I have? What else? What else? Okay. This is the last thing, but my favorite thing. It's my squishy. I have a favorite squishy to bring around, which is this one, because I like that it curves at the end, so you get some versatility in the way that you play with it. And I also have a favorite one for my bedside table for after I wake up. That is everything in my handbag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that you'll click the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Please Please don't forget to share this video on your social medias or with your friends and family. I would really really appreciate that a lot. I'll see you in my next video next weekend. Bye guys!